My name's Jim McCluskey and I'm doing some filming here at Mamhead Park South. In this case, a short presentation or film on fungi. When you visit, especially at this time of the year, if you look downwards from the treetops to the woodland floor, you'll find fungi. You'll see their fruiting bodies and everybody knows what they look like. If you could look further beneath the woodland floor, you would find more in the form of mycorrhizal fungi and ectomycorrhizal fungi. We now know that forest and woodland slows climate change. Fossil fuel consumption emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which in turn traps heat that drives global warming and hence climate change. The higher the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the warmer things will get until the Earth could likely suffer runaway atmospheric heating. Interestingly, not all carbon dioxide emissions go straight into the atmosphere. Instead, forests and woodlands all over the world protect us from faster rates of climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide. Forests and woodland absorb approximately one third of all anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions. That's carbon dioxide emissions made by man. This happens when Trees absorb CO2 during photosynthesis. When this happens, the carbon in CO2 is converted into plant biomass and eventually locked up in the tree itself and the forests and the woodland soils as well. As long as those carbon molecules stay in the forest, they stay out of the atmosphere, preventing them from contributing to global warming. What about mycorrhizal fungi? Well, while the trees may be absorbing the CO2 molecules, they don't do it alone. Forests and woodland have a microbiome consisting of all kinds of microorganisms that grow in unison with trees. And though any forest and woodland absorb CO2 and in turn offsets global warming, some forests and woodland do it more efficiently than others. We are learning that in order to understand which forests and woodlands are best at absorbing CO2, in turn requires understanding what mycorrhizal fungi are present in the microbiome. Trees form partnerships with many different root fungi, but we are learning that particular root fungi called ectomycorrhizal fungi are helping trees absorb CO2 even more efficiently. What's more, ectomycorrhizal fungi slows decomposition, which we know is the natural process that returns carbon from forest soils back to the atmosphere. It's clear that ectomycorrhizal fungi enhance the ability of forests to keep carbon locked up in trees and soils and therefore out of the atmosphere. However, we must be careful to protect this microbiome, which is sensitive to other forms of pollution, in particular nitrogen pollution emitted from burning fossil fuels and the massive use of fertilisers, depleting forests and woodlands ability to process the carbon dioxide. This is happening on a global scale. Therefore, the global community must reduce all possible forms of anthropogenic pollution, thereby helping our woodlands to help us and potentially the entire terrestrial ecosystem.